According to the 1911 Commonwealth Census, 210,000 men were living in South Australia. Around 35,000 of these, enlisted for service during World War I. The National War Memorial, on North Terrace, commemorates over 5,000 South Australians who died on active service, during this war. Surrounding the memorial, are the original World War I battlefield crosses that were erected, by the respective battalions. There are also several crosses, representing other wars. The 50th Battalion, suffered heavily, on Anzac Day 1918, during its now legendary attack to dislodge the enemy from villers bretonnay The four World War I crosses of memory, were brought back to South Australia, in 1932, by the Australian War Memorial. At the time, the National War Memorial, had just been opened on Anzac Day, 1931. The imposing memorial, is made mostly from South Australian marble, adorned with large bronze castings. The terrace side shows a relief, of the spirit of duty appearing as a vision before the youth of South Australia. On the reverse of the memorial is the spirit of compassion, bearing aloft the body of a dead soldier. This sculpture commemorates the sacrifice of those who gave their lives in the war, and the loss experienced by those at home. There is also an inner shrine, to honour the names of the South Australians who died during the war. A scroll of the battalion honour rolls are shown on other videos, please see the comments below for these videos. Located further down the terrace, is the Australian Light Horse Obelisk, and War Horse Memorial. They were unveiled in the 1920s. To honour the Australian Light Horse. And the War Horse Memorial acknowledges the service of the thousands of horses during the First World War. South Australians predominantly served in the 3rd, 9th and 11th Australian Light Horse Regiments.
136,000 Australian horses, commonly known as whalers, left our shores for World War I. Only one returned, she was named Sandy, the horse that belonged to Major General Sir William Bridges, who was killed at Gallipoli in 1915. He is buried at Dantroon in Canberra. Behind the South Australian Museum, is the old military barracks and police armory. Contingents left from here for the Boer War and later Commonwealth military offices were located here. The South African War Memorial, also known as the Boer War Memorial, is a prominent feature in Adelaide, dedicated to the South Australians, who served in the Second Boer War from 1899 to 1902, and honouring the names of the 59 South Australians who died in that war, the statue was unveiled by the Governor of South Australia, George Lahunt, in 1904. Located further down King William Street, where the Adelaide Festival Centre now stands, was the Cheer Up Hut building. The Cheer Up Society, was a World War I volunteer organisation, that was unique to South Australia. King William Street between the post office tower and the town hall has made the background scene, for numerous Anzac Day, and other patriotic parades over the years. The West Terrace Cemetery, is South Australia's oldest, first appearing on Colonel William Light's 1837 plan of Adelaide. Within its boundaries, lies the AIF Cemetery and the Commonwealth War Graves Commission section, with the prominent Cross of Sacrifice as its focus. The Commonwealth War Graves Commission section contains 268 graves of service personnel who died in service, generally of wounds in the nearby military hospital.
The AIF cemetery contains the graves of more than 4,000 ex-service personnel, including four Victoria Cross winners from World War I. Many well-known South Australian, World War I identities can be found throughout the columns of graves. Location of grave maps are obtained from the entry office computer. These are just a few of the heroes that rest at the West Terrace Cemetery. Captain David Twining, who was awarded for gallantry for his stand at Posiers. He survived the war but later committed suicide in his Adelaide military office. Sergeant Henry Skinner, who was awarded the Military Medal for his gallantry, and later, co-authored, The History of the 27th Battalion in World War I. Just along South Terrace, is the Dardanelles Memorial, which is the first World War I memorial to be built in Australia. It was erected to honour the soldiers, and commemorate the landing of ANZAC forces on Gallipoli Peninsula. Many of the men buried here, and their comrades who never returned, would have left Adelaide from Outer Harbour, The inserted photos shows the 27th Battalion and their commander Walter Dolman leaving Outer Harbour in 1915 for the Western Front. <laughs> 